Well, Grant, I want to go back to June 19th in Houston. You're coming in. You're relieving Max Scherzer. It's an 11-1 to game, but it's your major league debut coming in in the ninth inning. Just what's going through your head as you're trotting out from the bullpen? It all happened very quick for me, so I didn't really have too much of a chance to, uh, you know, get too rattled about it. But then uh, we actually called down to the bullpen with two outs in the ninth inning, um, and we already had another guy warming up. And then uh, they called my name to start getting hot with two outs in the ninth. So just kind of, you know, go mode. So I was just trying to get ready as fast as possible. And then, you know, we proceeded to score, I think, like five or six runs. So I was, you know, getting hot super fast and then had to sit down and um, be there uh, in the bullpen for a little bit. So I kind of had a second to breathe. But, you know. Uh, nothing really preps you for that. Um, you kind of just get thrown out into the fire, but, um, you know, that's something that all of us that have debuted, like we've been playing this game for a long time. So, you know, it's the same thing that we've done time and time again. It's just, you know, bigger crowd, bigger lights. Um, but the game's ultimately the same. Yeah. Beyond that debut, what would you describe as being your welcome to major league baseball moment? Honestly, I would probably say facing the Dodgers when we came home after, uh, all-star break, just, you know, seeing some of the guys in that lineup and one of the facing, you know, the premier, one of the premier lineups in, in the MLB is just um, like, it was kind of the first time where I was like, wow, like this is my first taste. And, you know, first time Mookie Betts just turns around a fastball inside, like it's nothing, you know, you kind of, you kind of get settled in real quick and it's like, but uh, that, that was my, Welcome to the MLB moment was seeing those big names and former MVPs and, you know, being able to say, you know, you played on the same field as those guys and been and faced them. You know, that's that's a big thing where it's kind of like, OK, I'm here now. And when you look back at your major league time last year, what were your main takeaways and how has that changed in terms of how you're preparing for 2024? Yeah, I mean, I would like to think of my first year as, you know, two halves. I started off and had a lot of success and then struggled for a little bit and then found a little bit of success at the end of the year, but it was just more so fi finding my own footing um, and learning how to deal with failure up there because it is different than dealing with it in the minor leagues. Um, but more so just, you know, getting the feet wet, feeling a little bit more comfortable and confident and then really reestablishing, you know, who I am as a pitcher and what's going to make me successful and building my best box. Yeah. When you look forward to this spring, this spring training, it's going to be your first time as a spring training, you know, as a bona fide major leaguer. What are you hoping to prove to the Mets as you try to get back to the show? You know, I'm just trying to put my the best version of myself out there. You know, I can only control what I can control. And ultimately, when it makes time to come to decision, you know, that's out of my control. So I'm just going to put my best foot forward. I put in the work in the off season and I've been training since the end of the season last year. And um, I'm just trying to put myself, my best self out there for them to see. And then, you know, just have fun, get a little camaraderie with the guys and get a little bit more comfortable being in that atmosphere and uh, just getting after it and getting better every day.